In this video, I will show you how to create an awesome logo animation, using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. This animation contains three sections. First we need to animate the jumping ball. Second the logo revealing section. And finally animates the light rays. By learning this tutorial, I hope you can get great knowledge about creating smooth logo animation. Download, and open the illustrator file. Here I have separated each part, making it easier to create the animation. Also, I changed the color of the ball to red, so it will make easier to identify that layer. Select all the layers and export them into After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called Overload to export them. If you do not have this plugin, simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects. These are my composition settings. Adjust it into the same settings, if you have a different one. I will lock the background layer, so it will easier to manage layers. Also, change the layer color of the ball to a different one. Select these two layers. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Right click, and pre-compose it. Hide this composition, and leave it until the end. Press Ctrl plus R, and get a new guideline. Place it under the Apple logo and mark the bottom. Move the timeline to a position like this. Select the ball layer. Open position settings and create two keyframes. Now, move the ball to the bottom. It will automatically replace the keyframe. Get the timeline to the middle. Then place the ball in the top position. Get the vertex tool and fix this keyframe. Otherwise, it will occur a small jumping motion. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Let's check the animation. The animation seems good. Play with the keyframes, and adjust the timing. Click this solo icon, then it will only visible that layer. Search for path settings. Create two keyframes. Again, take the timeline into the middle. Select these three anchor points, and change the ball shape to a shape like this. When the ball moves fast, the shape of the ball needs to stretch. So we can achieve a nice and smooth animation. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Make sure to add a motion blur to that layer. So click both these icons. Let's move those keyframes into the correct position. Play with the keyframes, and adjust the timing. Again, copy those keyframes, and paste them at the end as well. OK. The animation seems good to me. Now remove this solo icon. Open scale settings. Create two keyframes. Go to the second keyframe, and increase the size of the ball to cover the logo. It will automatically replace that keyframe. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Play with the keyframes and adjust the speed. Let's see the animation. OK. Now move the ball layer, to the top of Apple icon layer. I will adjust the position of these two keyframes. Again, select this layer. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Move that layer to the bottom of Apple icon. Change the track mat of the Apple icon to alpha mat. Move the timeline to a position like this. I will cut both these layers from here. By looking at the flow of the animation, we need to cut both layers, at the correct position. Select this layer and open scale settings. Create two keyframes. 0, and 100. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. I will move those keyframes and correct the flow of the animation. 
Let's see the animation. The animation looks good, but I will change the ball color to white. There is a small mistake in the animation. By extending this layer to a position like this, we'll fix that issue. OK. Now it's time to animate the leaf. Separate the leaf layer by clicking this icon. Press Y, and take the anchor point to this position. Open Scale Settings. Create four keyframes. 0, 100, 95, and 100. So we can get a nice popping animation too. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. The animation seems too slow. Adjust the keyframes distance by holding Alt key. Go to Graph Editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Let's check the animation. Now the animation seems good. Cut this layer from here. Disable the solo option. Now, parent leaf layer to the apple icon. Move this layer to the right place, and correct the flow of the animation. Let's check the animation. The animation is looking good. Now select this ball layer. Open opacity settings, and create two keyframes. 0, and 100. Place them in the correct position. OK. Now it's time to create the light rays effect. Enable the solo layer option. Go to effects and presets, and search for the effect CC radial blur. Drag and drop it into this layer. Change the type, to fading zoom. And set the amount value to 70. Now we can see a nice blur effect. Let's animate the blur effect. So click the center parameter, and create a new keyframe. Take the center point to a position like this, then it will automatically replace the keyframe. Press U, and open that keyframe. Move the timeline a few frames forward. Then take the center point to the opposite side. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to Graph Editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Move the timeline to this position. Then cut this layer from here. Disable the solo layer option. Move this layer to this position. Press P, and open opacity settings. Create two keyframes. 0, and 60. Take the timeline into the middle. Then create another two keyframes. 60 and 0. I will move this composition to the correct place. Always we need to check the flow of the animation is correct or not. Parent this layer to the apple icon. Now we almost finished the hard part of the animation. Let's add a zoom out effect to the animation. So select these three layers, and parent to a null object. Here, I'm using a plugin called Motion V2, to create the null layer. If you do not have this plugin, simply create a new null object and parent these three layers manually. I will take this layer to the top. Open scale settings, and create two keyframes. 60, and 75. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Check the final animation, and now we are done. Creating this kind of tutorial, requires a significant amount of time and effort. So, I would really appreciate your support by joining my Patreon. It will help me to create more tutorials like this one.